The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, second chapter, text number 32, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on September 2nd, 1973, in London, England. Translation O Partha, happy are the Chatriyas to whom such fighting opportunities come unsought opening for them the doors of the heavenly planets. So, it is the duty of the Chhatriya to see that everyone is executing his proper professional or occupational life. We have discussed this point yesterday. Sadharmam opichāvi. Sadharma. This is very important. At the present moment, there is no sadharma. Therefore, according to Vedic injunction, dharme na hina pasubhi samāna. One who is not executing his own religious principle is no better than the animals. So who will see that everyone engaged in discharging his occupational duty? Sadharma means occupational duty. <coughs> it is the duty of the king, government. In the beginning, it is the duty of the father, of the teacher, to train children uh, to the principles of sadhana. Uh, a brāhmaṇa, it is the duty of the brāhmaṇa to see that his son is being properly trained up as a brāhmaṇa. Sattva sama dhamma titikha ārjava brahma karma sabhava Everything is there. The Brahmana should be taught how to become truthful. First of all, the Brahmana will never speak lie at any cost. It is stated that even if his enemy inquires something confidential from him, he will say, yes, this is my position. This is truthfulness. He is not even, uh, I want to say, guide. Uh, against his enemy. Uh, he should be a, a, a truthful. Even Satriya, they are also truthfulness. Truthfulness is so valuable. That makes one powerful Brahma, Satya. There is an instance how a Brahmana is recognized. Uh, Satyatam Java Upanisha. Uh, this Satyatam Went to Gautam Muni. Sir, please make me your disciple. So according to Vedic principle, without becoming a Brahmana, he cannot be accepted as disciple. Without becoming. Oh. <coughs> In our society also, we uh, do not accept a disciple. Unless he is brahmanically qualified, no meat eating, no illicit sex, eh? no gambling, no intoxication. These are brahmanical. Unless one is free from the sinful activities, how he can become a brahman? Brahman means suchi, and the others they are called kripana or muchi. Suchi means all its things. Internally, bhajya abhantaram suchi. Oh. Inside and outside. Outside by taking bath, washing his soda, soap, or if soda soap is not allowed, with art or oil, uh, that is external cleanliness. Similarly, internal cleanliness. One must 
lie down in the morning, evacuate. Uh, uh, then after taking bath, must chant Hare Krishna mantra, uh, see the Mangalaratri. In this way one has to purify himself internally and externally. God consciousness is not so cheap thing. Jisam antakatam papam jagaram punna karmana. One who is completely free from all contamination of material uh, mode. Antakatam uh, papam, sinful activities. They can. They run on a mokta bhajanti one. They can stick to the principle of devotional service. Otherwise, it is not free from the contamination of sinful life. He may show, make a show of devotion, but there is not actual devotion. Bhakta bhas. That is called bhakta bhas. So, these things should be observed. Brahman. The Brahmana's duty is to present himself an ideal human being. Sattva sama dhamma titikha. Titikha means colors. Oh, it is very cold. No, I cannot take work. He must tolerate. He must tolerate. Titikha. Arjan, simplicity. Jnana, full knowledge. Vijnana, practical application. Jnana, vijnana, asthikam. Asthikam means complete conveying of God and His relationship with God. That is called asthikam. Or full faith in the uh, statement of the Veda. What about Veda says, that's right. No argument. That is called asthikam. No argument. So, similarly, Kshatriya, Kshatriya duty is it, it is Chatram Vijatam Cha Parasparatham. The Brahmanas will examine whether the Kshatriyas are doing their duty, like, just like Parasparatham, when he saw that all the Kshatriyas have become rascals, he wanted to kill them all. I know that. Twenty-one times he killed. Some of the Kshatriyas, they fled from India. And they came to reside in European countries. Therefore, origin of the European, they are Kshatriyas. Hmm. Turkey, Greece, uh, and other countries also. Kshatriya. Uh, so, it is the duty of the Brahman. To see that Kshatriyas are doing nicely that duty. Similarly, Kshatriyas' duty is also to see whether Brahmana are doing that duty. Uh, so, Kshatriyas were not needed to see the Brahmana. They were so advanced Brahmana that they are beyond examination of the Kshatriyas. But another duty of the Kshatriya is that people are being educated spiritually. Uh, that is Satriya duty. Or the king of a kingdom is looking over the citizens that, that they are properly being trained now. Uh, this is, uh, one king is not properly, just like in some states at this present moment, and uh, what is called? Secular. Secular means uh, they are meant like that, that you do all nonsense, you don't care. You pay me tax, that's all. Income tax. And you go to hell. It doesn't matter. This is not secular state. Secular state means the state must be very vigilant, whether everyone is doing his duty, everyone is employed in his duty. Uh, and if, if everyone is not employed, it is the duty of the government to see. He must be employed. A Brahman is employed. A Satya is employed. A Bhishya is employed. Otherwise, if that unemployed, I will bring. Then I will bring will be Devi's also. That is happening. Because everyone is not employed, 
They have discovered machine. And the machine is working hundred men's work. So actually hundred men are unemployed. So the machine has not improved the situation. It has improved the pocket of the capital, but it has not improved the condition of the mass of people. No. They are unemployed. Therefore, in the Western country, because the machine and industry, therefore now they are producing from the university hippies, uh, unemployed. Thousands and thousands of young boys and girls. Girls are not meant for working outside. Girls are meant for working inside. So the whole thing has capital way. Why? Because there is no good king. This is because. So the whole battlefield of Kurukshetra was arranged by Krishna so that this irresponsible rose and dressed as king should be all killed. That was the plan of Krishna. Just like Durjadhan. Durjadhan, in the dress of a king, he was a rogue. He cheated the Pandavas by gambling. You bet your wife, you bet your kingdom. In this way, the devotee is simple, cheated them. So Krishna wanted to see that these cheetahs and rogues must be killed. That was his plan. Uh, therefore he said, Yadichyatukavannam sarvadayama pavritam. Arjun, you are hesitating to fight, but it is a great opportunity for you. Uh, because as a kshatriya, if you kill these cheetahs and rogues, uh, that will be a great achievement for you. And even though you cannot kill them, if you die yourself, then the heavenly uh, door is open for you. Because a Kshatriya who dies in the battlefield for the right cause, he goes to the heaven. If he conquers over the enemy, he enjoys the kingdom. And if he dies, but the cause must be uh, right. Sargodam Yadichya Sukumannam Sargodaram Mapabritam Sukhina Khutriya Pratha Labante Juddham Idrisham. Juddham is the political uh, uh, fight nowadays, just like in our India. Pakistan and Hindustan, they are always planning fighting. That is political. Uh, that is political. Uh, when the Pakistani government cannot manage, uh, nobody is managing nicely, like the Pakistan non Hindustan, but they divert their attention. Uh, the religious slogan Hindus are our enemies. Or oh, the Pakistanis are enemies, the so called national slogan, here also everywhere, uh, the here in Europe also, the two wars were arranged by the German people, they are envious of the English people. So these wars are not uh, right wars, uh, righteous wars. They are uh, play of the uh, diplomats, uh, politicians. They engage. When they cannot manage things very nicely, they engage people into war. That's all. Divert the attention. But war is not meant for that. War is meant for that when people are uh, not properly being trained up by the uh, king of the state, the other king can attack him. Uh, the ideal state means the king must be very responsible. There are many instances, just like the Vishnu Maharaj, he was a past king. In, a, in Bengali, there is a proverb, Rajar Dose Rajya Nasto Ginnit Dose Dhyasta Dost. 
Uh, if the king is not pious, then the whole kingdom is spoiled. So similarly, if the housewife is not good, the whole family is spoiled. Uh, everyone has got this experience. Uh, so the king must be very honest, pious, religious, therefore they are called Rajarsi. Although they are king, uh, but they are just like saintly person, just like Maharaj uh, They are saintly. Rajas, even the Rajas have a vidu. Sometimes we are accused that we go to preach amongst the richer section. Uh, the richer section, of course there is no king, but actually this Bhagavad Gita was meant for the richer section. Who used to control the king? Because if the king is educated nicely in spiritual affairs, if he knows what is the purpose of kingdom, what is the purpose of ruling, then all the citizens automatically become religious, purposeful. And if the king is a rascal, the leader is a rascal, naturally all others will follow and they will become rascals. Therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita, in the fourth chapter, you'll find that Krishna was teaching first of so, Imam Vivasati Jugam Pratavan Ahamabharam. He taught this philosophy to the Son of There are two Chhatriya families, Surya Vamsa and Chandra Vamsa. One family is coming from the Sun God, another family is coming from the Moon God. So uh, Krishna said, uh, because son was the principal man in the Chhatriya family of Sudya Vansha, so he was taught first. Imam Vivasati Yogam Pratamanaham Abdam Vivasanamana Viprahu Manu Ikhata Vimpravi. So Maharaj Ikhatu, the first king of the dynasty in which Lord Ramchandra took birth. Uh, very pious family. Sri Khaku Maharaj. Hmm. Uh, the uh, worship of Ram, Ram Chandra uh, began from the Maharaj Khaku. Uh, Maharaj Khaku used to worship the uh, deity of Ram Chandra, Ram Sita. Uh, therefore, in that family, Lord Ram Chandra appeared. That is Deity is still existing in some part of South India. Uh, the deity was, deity was being worshipped in the family since Maharaj Ikhaku, and during when Lord Ramchandra was personally present, this deity was kept in his bedroom. Uh, so one Brahmana, he used to come and see Lord Ramchandra, then he would take his break, his fasting, breakfast. That was his uh, principle, regulative principle. So Lord Ramchandra was absent for a week or so from the kingdom, and the Brahmana did not take in a little water because he could not see Lord Ramchandra, such a devotee. Uh, so. Uh, Lakshman informed King Ramchandra that here is a devotee, Brahmana, you are absent from the kingdom for one week. So he did not take even a drop of water. So Lord Ramchandra was very much pleased that he ordered Lakshman that you give him that deity which was being worshipped in our family, now we stop. So he delivered that deity. Ramchandra to the Brahmana. That when Lord Ramchandra is absent from the kingdom, he can worship. Oh. This is authority. If you cannot see Krishna physically, although Krishna is present everywhere, but we have no eyes to see him. Therefore, this deity was. Oh. Deity is not hiddenism or idol worship. No. Diti is as good as the original Supreme Personality of God. He is absolute. He is form 
and he is not different. Abhinna, pyat nama nama nama. Abhinna, identical. We are chanting Hare Krishna, not that like ground. No. We are associating with Krishna. Abhinna, pyat nama nama. By chanting Krishna's name, Krishna is present on your tongue. Unless we realize in that way, then it is a period of nama aparat or nama bhas. Nama not nama bhas, nama aparat. Now this is nama aparat. To consider that the name is different from the person, as we have got experience in the material world. That the name is different from the substance. If you want to drink water, simply if you chant water, 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 your thirst will not be satisfied. But in spiritual world, the absolute world, the name and the person is the same. Otherwise, why you stress so much on chanting Hare Krishna name? Not we. It is in the sastra. हरे नाम हरे नाम हरे नाम ये वो केवल हम कलो नास्ति वो नास्ति वो नास्ति वो बतिदन न था दिस इस हास्ते बट देर आर मेनी रास्कल्स दे गिव द एग्जाम्पल दर वो चैंटिंग व्हाट इज द बेनिफिट आई कैन चैंट सोडा वाटर सोडा वाटर लेंगे बट दे डू नॉट नो रास्कल्स व्हाट इज द शास्त्रों इंजेक्शन � all these European American boys and girls, simply by chanting Hare Krishna mantra, they are becoming purified. How? Unless there is spiritual potency in chanting, how they are becoming so purified? And in in so-called Hindus, they are surprised that how these European Americans they have become so nice devotees. The chanting of Hare Krishna mantra has got the power, has got the potency. Cheta Tatpana Marjanam, Bhava Mahadava Agnimit Papanam, Seya Kaila Vachanvita Vikaranam, Vidyavadhu Jeevanam. Everything is there, formula. If we follow the regulative principles, the injunction of the Akadas, of the Shastra, then we get success. Otherwise, we may simply live up. Unnecessary, wasting time. The sastra vidyus siddha, but the three kama kāl. That is said in the Bhagavad Gita. One who does not follow the regulative principle mentioned in the sastra. Sastra vidhi, vidhi means regulative principle. The sastra vidyus siddha, but the three kama kāl. And leaves physically as he, as a, whatever he likes. And that is sanctioned. By some rascal Sami, that, oh yes, you can do whatever you like. Jata Vattata. You can manufacture your way of religious principle. These things are going. But actually, that will not help us. Sāsuriti. Sāsuriti, that must be observed. The Sāsuriti must be observed. But Tati Kāmakār, no siddhings of Ārnati, if one violates, the regulated principle mentioned in this hatha. He never gets success. No siddhings of ārnati, no sukham, neither happiness. No sukham na parāna, then what do you speak of going back to Hulva? He wrought in this material world. So, sātra vidhi is required. So here is one sātra vidhi from parāsa, smṛti. Parāsar was the father of Vyāsdev. He has got his regulative principles. They are sort of realized souls. On Vedic principles, they wrote so many books. In this Parāsar Smriti, he said, Khatrahi Prajāraksha Shāsra Shastra Pāni Pradanda Shastra Pāni the Satsapani means always with sword in the hand for the benefit of the prayer. It will be so strong. You are a thief, you have stolen, immediately cut his hand. 
bad. The one example will stop millions of things not to come still. Simply by that. Even a hundred years ago, this system was prevalent in Kashmir. If a thief is arrested and if he is proved that he has stolen, immediately king will cut off his two hands. Finish. No court witness, and it will go for ten years to find out whether he has stolen. This is God. Therefore, the injunction is chhatya hi prajaraksha sastrapani prajandana. All right. Must be mistake. Nirjitya parasmai jari. Dharmena palae. This is dharma. In the monosmiti, it is said that if a man, a murderer, a one man has killed another man, why man, even animal, he is a murderer. Now murdering is no offense. They are killing daily so many babies within the womb, murderers. And that is that has become a custom. They are killing hundreds and thousands of animals daily in the slaughterhouse. It has become a custom. So now even human being murdered, he is not condemned to death. Is it not? Yes. yes. But then, this is means everyone is sinful. Oh. Everyone is sinful. The government is sinful. The people are sinful. Then how you can become happy? It is a fool's paradise, sinful paradise. How, how you can be happy? Therefore, despite all sorts of education, scientific improvement, uh, brain mass and so many things, people are unhappy. Disease, unhappy, uh, dissatisfaction, confusion, this is going on. Because everything is uh, not properly done. Uh, the government is not strict. Uh, uh, so, in the Manusmriti, as I am quoting from Parasar Smriti, there are uh, Smriti Shastras. The Manusmriti, it is said that if a man commits uh, murder, then he should be killed. Otherwise, he will suffer in the next life. Uh, so many suffering. So, the king's order to condemn a murder, murderer to death is a mercy, is a mercy for him. Because he is saved from future oh, so many troubles. The king should be so strict, oh, not that by compassion. And, no, no uh, his murder, that's all right. He has killed one man. Why he should be killed? No, he must be killed. This is the law. Here is also Parasha Smriti, it is said. The khatriya should be always satrapani and much strictly, uh, as soon as there is any discrepancies, uh, he must say, formally the, the judgment was given by the king. Every day king would sit just like we are sitting. So if there is a, formally there was no criminal practically. Uh, if there was any criminal, if, the, it was very difficult to find out a criminal. Uh, because these four things are forbidden. What is that? No illicit sex, no intoxication, no gambling, no meeting. See, if one follows these four principles, naturally he is sinless automatically. Uh, and if the whole population is sinless, then where is the possibility of judging or being the criminal? Uh, when colleague was awarded four places. Uh, he was, first of all, ordered by Parikshit Maharaj. Uh, as soon as he saw that this black man is going to kill one cow, oh, where are you in my kingdom? You are trying to kill a cow? Uh, he took his sword. I said, kill you immediately. Uh, so he fell down. Sir, I am also your subject and this is my business. Uh, killing. Uh, so, what can I do? I must have some 
uh, means of livelihood, uh, just like this butcher. He is uh, means of livelihood is to kill animals. So if the animal slaughterhouse is closed, then there will be so much unemployment. And the butcher must have a chance of killing. So that is not law. Oh, butcher must have also employment. No. Therefore, slaughterhouse must be maintained. Not that. The Parikrit Maharaj said that you cannot live in my kingdom. Uh, I cannot provide you with an employment. You must go out. So at that time, Purikrit Maharaj was the emperor of the whole world, whole planet. So he said, sir, where shall I go out? The whole planet is your kingdom. Where shall I go out of your kingdom? Where is that place? See, so Purikrit Maharaj considered that. So all right, then you can remain in these four places. Sridasana Paraguta Jatrupa Pastatu Vida. Where illicit sex life, brothel, a prostitute's house, it can be. Sridasana, slaughterhouse, or unnecessarily, where animals are killed, you can be. Sridasana Paraguta. An intoxication, where a liquor house, you can be. Where there is gambling, you can make. So he could not find out a place where to be. That means in those days these things were so much conspicuous by as that that it was difficult for the colleague to find out uh, a place like that. But they, with the advancement of colleague, now colleague can find out his place anywhere, at any home, any place. These things are going. On. This is the position. So, uh, this system of human civilization, as conceived by the Vedic process, is completely different from the rascal civilization at the present moment. Therefore, people cannot be happy. It is not possible. If we, uh, at the same time, it is impossible to go back to that type of civilization, because people are so polluted, it is not possible. Therefore, the only means is, as enunciated by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from Vihar Naradiya Purat, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Iva Kivalam, Kalo Nasteva, Nasteva, Nasteva Gatiranda Tha. Take this, this problem. Chant Hare Krishna Mantra, at least you will be purified, you will understand the situation, and if you follow the rules and regulations, it is very simple uh, uh, to avoid these four principles of sinful life and chant Hare Krishna. Then you are sure back to home, back to God, and be happy with Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.